Negro con blanco y un peso, 79 kilos, 400 gramos. His opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. Where's tonight? Black trunks trimmed in white, and he too weighed in 79 kilos and 400 grams. Su record, excelente con 24 victorias, 19 por knockout, y solamente dos derrotas. His professional record, excellent with 24 victories, including 19 big wins by way of knockout and just two defeats, representing the Golden Triangle. De Houston, Texas, el ex campeón de Norte América, presentando Chris Hard hitting Henry! Third man to the ring, Gerardo Aguilara, our referee. Hagan una pelea limpia, chocan los guantes. Agradezcan mis órdenes que ganen mejor. Suerte los dos. Vamos. Good luck, he says. Yeah. And he has to push him away. The two fighters didn't want to leave the, the stand on. Hugo Garay decked out in the multicolored trunks and in the black and white is Chris Henry. There's Garay. It's a good world class fighter, former WBA world champion. Got his little tail there in the back of his head. And here we go. Chris Henry again in the black and white from Houston, Texas. And they start going right at each other from the get go here. And the style of good eye is going to be a pressure fight. He's going to throw a lot of quick punches. And he's trying to jump right on Chris Henry in the early going here. Chris doesn't want him to control it, so he bends over. But he's right in that kill zone. Anyway, he's ready to mix it with him, too. This is the kind of fight that we expect for a good few rounds. Good Hugo eye. Garay and Chris Henry. Good eye's never been stopped. He did lose a disqualification, but that was his punching after the bell in the second round against Franco Raul Sanchez. He felt the power of Chris Henry, who has uh, 19 knockouts and 24 uh, victories, where Garay has 17 and 32, so the stronger the two fighters would be Henry. Settled on a nice right hand, goes through an immediately this puffiness by the left eye of Hugo Garay. Garay sets up right in front of him. Well, I like, I like Henry, though. So, so compact with his punches. And he's an excellent fighter. I don't know. I don't know that guy has seen somebody as quick as, as Henry, though. Although Campillo is plenty fast, Campillo doesn't throw the hard shots that Henry does. No, Campillo doesn't have power at all, but he throws a lot of punches. But Chris Henry is throwing these with some power. There's a counter right hand and a chopping right hand that catch uh, Henry, but Henry was rolling with the punches, so he didn't get the flush hard hit from uh, the hand of uh, Hugo Garay. Slick movement there, holds yeah, the head a, down. That's a pro right there. Ste steps aside, nice uppercut. Now the referee's going to warn him about holding the head and hitting. And that's a good job by uh, Gerardo Aguilara, the referee, by, by picking that up right away and not letting that slide. But uh, Henry is a slick fighter, a very slick fighter. A stiff jab. He's, he'll slide off to the right. See that right yeah. hand, sneaky right hand in there. He gets up over it, then he pushes him down. I don't think he's going to score that as a knockdown. Or is he? Yeah, he must have hit him with some shot. He's not getting up. The fight's That's all it. it's over. over. The back of his head hit the ground. The fight's all over. He knocked him out. What a shocking finish to this. Yeah, it was a right hand. I thought he pushed him over. Yeah, but it was originally the right hand. We got to see the replay. They're trying to complain right here from the corner and say, no, no, but that wasn't a put. I mean, it was the right hand that did the initial damage. Well, he told him to get up if he was pushed down. And look at the corner of Garay. There's going to be some suspensions here. They better get some security in there. Yeah, because it was a right hand. And I mean, you don't see Garay complaining. That was a right hand that buckled his knees. I, I saw the right hand, Benny, but I thought that he pushed him down, but uh, Garay didn't, didn't move to get up. Well, I think after he felt that punch, he might have been out right there, and then all of a sudden the back of his head hit the mat. Uh, the people from uh, Argentina are furious, but you know, a fighter must get up following any type of blow or he can be counted out. Now, he wasn't counted out, but the referee just waved it off. Sure, let's see. There's the right oh, hand. Oh, no, it's a right hand. 
And now what? Right hand. That's a great shot by our camera people right there. You're going to see the right hand. Yeah, he's got him with a good right hand. Let's see the finish here. And there, there was a right hand and then the push. And then you see he never made a motion to get up. There's the right hand. Yeah, the right now hand, he pushes and he him. pushed him in. Lennox but, but, Lewis made a career out of doing that. Guys, he nailed with the right hand. He's out. He's, he's out. out right there. He got hit with the right hand. See, he's just settling in right there. See how he drops the head? Yeah. He's out right there. His head didn't bang off the canvas as it was. From our vantage point, it looked like it might have, but there was a leg in the way. Watch this. It's a, it's a right hand power shot that he catches him with. So what? On the break, there's, there's the one shot. there. A good shot there. That starts the scrambling. And now and he's look at the knees. See the knees, knees buckle? And he just pushed him off him because he was hanging up. And Nothing now, wrong with what uh, Chris Henry did. The referee should have just counted him out. It's his first round. I think they'll call it a technical knockout because the referee never counted. So it's a first round knockout victory, a TKO for Chris Henry over Hugo Garay. Now, there may be a, an order of a rematch, but Garay should have got up. If, uh, you know, as fresh as he appears right now, nonetheless, Henry has done the job. He vaults ahead and moves into position now to fight Beboot Shumanov. And he's wearing the, uh, right there, the national Mexican soccer team jersey. Technical referee stops about two minutes, 20 seconds of round number one for your winner by TKO victory. Hard hitting Chris Henry. Well, the people in the arena are not crazy about the way it ended, but we had to see it in all honesty a couple of times to know exactly what happened because I saw the push, I also saw the hit. But but I thought initially the referee might rule it a, a push, but he did the same thing again that Lennox Lewis did so many of his knockouts. Hit the guy. The guy tries to hang on. Now watch this. Watch You'll the knees. Another, watch his knee yeah, buckle. Boom. Look at those knees. He's gone right there, and he just pushes him off. And now you'll see his head go back. The referee sends Henry to a neutral corner, and he never bothers to count. Let's see what this next gesture is. Well, he's warning him right there about pushing. But then he looks at the fighter whose eyes might have been rolling back in his head and says, wait a minute, more than a push. And they're still trying to get this thing cleared up. Let's see what the ref, I mean, what the ref here has to say. He said, you know, he abandoned the fight. He did not want to get up. So if he doesn't want to get up, I got to call off the fight. Which is exactly what God I did. He made no move whatsoever to get up. Do you see the referee right there observing it? From where the referee was standing, you wonder if he saw the punch. Yeah, but he, the referee asked him right there, get up, get up. And he made no, no movement at all to try to go ahead and get up.